Good evening everyone, time for another member update. This is going to be mainly just a crypto update because of the recent action in, in the cryptocurrencies. So we'll start out with the um, market cap of the cryptocurrencies. You can see we're sitting at 67 billion. Uh, we were lower, we, we're, we're on a bounce right now. So we were below 65 billion, which is uh, half of what we were when we were at that 130 billion mark so this is a 50 percent correction it's pretty amazing to think about that that, that the cryptocurrencies have already lost 50 percent of their value i said that we could go down 90 percent um that's not much farther and that's crazy uh but i also said we can go to a trillion dollars and that can happen as well both could actually be true but uh, so the big question is going to be, is the correction over with yet? Is it time to start getting back in? Uh, I did post on the member site that I started nibbling at Ethereum, about a little bit of Ethereum at 145. You can see it's now at 167. Is that the bottom for Ethereum? I, I don't know. Uh, and we're going to look at uh, Ethereum prices here when we look at segregated witness. But I wanted to take a look at the Bitcoin chart from Bitcoin Wisdom. Pardon this upper line. It's not perfectly straight, but you can see the chart here. I had predicted that the support was going to come in at 1800. We do seem to have a bounce off of 1800, but then again, it's, you know, that's not a big support area right in here. And it's looking kind of like of an, an air pocket sort of deal. So, a correction down to the 1300 price would not surprise me and there's a couple of reasons the first reason is that's major support as opposed to just this minor support but also uh, it coincides with um, this one trend line here that we have that goes back to uh, this bottom and you can see it Hit, it touches there and then it matches right up with that $1,300 price. Now the lowest trend line is the one that goes all the way back uh, to 2015 really, uh, 2016, 2015 and uh, that one comes in around 1150, 1100, 1200, something like that. So the next big support if we get I suspect that if we see a price below 1800 you can see we're at 1983 so uh, about hundred fifty dollar bounce so far from the low but if we get a break down below 1800 I'm expecting a correction all the way down to 1300 and I would give the chances of that happening right now I would say there's probably a 75 percent chance that we will get a correction back to 1300 uh, based on this chart uh, so let's go over to Poloniex and take a look at some of these charts here I want to talk about Ethereum and uh, what's coming up with Bitcoin so for those of you who aren't familiar with what's coming up in August basically we have this thing called segregated witness and I'm not going to get into too much of the detail about it but basically the Bitcoin blockchain is now too large for uh, most computers it's not too large for the miners and things like that but there, there are problems cropping up now with the size of the blockchain so segregated witness is one proposed solution which would basically uh, create a way for there to be a reduced size in the blockchain and uh, that's a fix that has to be democratically decided upon um, if a certain percentage of the miners I believe it's above 80 percent vote for it then it's going to be adopted or there's a potential that what happened to Ethereum could happen to Bitcoin so just to revisit this what happened with Ethereum was that it split between Ethereum and Ethereum classic uh, so you see, can see the two symbols here you got ETC and ETH it, ETC is Ethereum classic which is currently priced at fourteen dollars and sixty cents 
Ethereum is priced at $164. So a big difference between the prices. Now if we click on the Ethereum Classic chart, you can see that uh, it starts off just about one year ago. And the price just about one year ago was about a buck forty. Now, what's interesting is that if we go back to Ethereum and look at that same time frame, we're talking roughly in July. Uh, we're looking at a price of about ten bucks. So, uh, Ethereum was valued anywhere from five to six times the value of Ethereum Classic. Now. The most important thing I want to point out about this is that both of the charts show significant increase in value in both of the coins since this uh, hard fork occurred. So this kind of indicates that a lot of the panic may be over nothing because even if Bitcoin does fork, uh, if it follows the pattern of Ethereum, then it will be profitable for both uh, coins that emerge. Now, Ethereum obviously was a much more uh, profitable coin because you can see we know the move went from roughly 10 to 14 bucks when segregated witness occurred in Ethereum. Uh, it's not called that, but the, the hard fork occurred and it ran to above four hundred dollars so that was a big forty-fold gain the gain in Ethereum Classic was not as great it only ran uh, to twenty three from again from about two bucks so still a good tenfold gain in Ethereum Classic so the big question is going to be uh, will Bitcoin follow that pattern it's quite possible that it could so we could see more selling, significant selling, all the way into August 1st, and maybe we'll get that correction down to that $1,300 price, and uh, then we may actually see a blast off similar to what we saw in Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Now those did not occur right away, so you can see from the charts of Ethereum and Ethereum Classic that uh, it took a while for those price moves to occur so in ethereum it was basically it happened in the summer and it wasn't until february or march it wasn't until the next spring that it just absolutely took off and ethereum classic same thing they basically took off at the same time so could the same thing happen with bitcoin absolutely it could so let's get to the other altcoins because some people have asked questions about which are the best alts to get into. Now, if we're talking about a downtrend in Bitcoin, and I can't emphasize this enough, I've talked about this in the past. Uh, most of my gains made trading the altcoins were made during the bull market in Bitcoin. And that's when you get the speculative run-ups in the altcoins because people are speculating as to what the next big thing is going to be. And they have Bitcoin profits that they can play with. Uh, Bitcoin is going up. Altcoins are going up. Everything's going up. The next hottest thing is blasting off. That's when you have an opportunity to make really good money in the altcoins. You don't have nearly as much of an opportunity when Bitcoin is going down and that's because altcoins tend to follow it down uh, so you definitely want to be convinced that a bottom is in in Bitcoin before you start to speculate as to what is going to be the next big altcoin profit now you can scale in which is what I've started doing scaling in a little bit into Ethereum and you probably want to use now as an opportunity to look and see what's the most battered down. You can see one of the first bouncing coins here is this uh, expanse. But uh, this thing had a high of 0 .001. Uh, it's three zeros and a one. I mean, it's down 
at least 90 something percent uh, you can see it's starting to pick up here with a, a spike in the MACD but uh, still it's speculative at this point as to whether Bitcoin has, has put in a bottom it doesn't appear I'm not convinced that a solid bottom is in yet for Bitcoin so which coins have really taken it on the chin uh, there are a number of them now we've been watching Florin coin and library credits uh, those are because those are a couple of fundamental ideas I liked you can see that Florin coin is kind of uh, I'll say flirting with the lows uh, Florin coin basically broke out from a price ceiling high that it had been testing for a very long time of about 1500 and you can see it's now at 1596 uh, I don't think the selling is over with with Florin coin and I sold most of my Florin coin way up here in the 30s 40s and I have said that I plan to get back into it but I don't plan to get back into it yet now this may be an excellent opportunity uh, if Bitcoin continues down we may get a breakdown below that 15 I'm definitely going to be a buyer of flooring coin if it ever gets to seven or eight hundred I don't think it'll ever revisit 300 where I did a lot of accumulating but seven or eight hundred on flooring coin would be a place where I would start to accumulate some now library credits has probably even taken it worse than flooring coin you can see the run-up high was about 38 or so and we've touched all the way down to below or very close to that thousand price so a significant percentage drop uh, I think probably anything in triple digits maybe 900s or 800s for library credits assuming that Bitcoin has bottomed would probably be an accumulation point uh, so what else is there out there that has gone down a lot well there's there are a lot of coins I can't go through all of them uh, other ones that I'm following storage uh, you can see that's been really battered uh, that that's a pretty good coin as far as uh, the number of people involved with it market cap that's one to keep an eye on um, what else is there uh, Stratus is another coin that I've been following and that one has it hasn't been as decimated but it, it's been uh, really knocked down I've also kept my eye on the very very low priced coins just by the quote in Bitcoin Bytecoin has been one that I've been watching but again this one has been delisted by Poloniex and it's been that way for quite some time if you want to do the comparison in prices then keep an eye on Cryptopia which uh, also trades it and compare prices there uh, I would stay away from it if Poloniex is still playing with it like that Dogecoin I'm not interested in at all because it seems to be an infinite coin uh, Sia coin uh, has also gone down significantly it appears to be putting in a bottom but again it had a tremendous run up you can see from down here around 50 or so so it's still up significantly uh, I'm keeping an eye on it burst is one that I'm in right now I'm adding to the position I like the way that it completely corrected back down to this level 260 so that's one that I really like and I've been accumulating and then there's Digibyte which is also one of the very very cheap coins and you can see it's been absolutely decimated uh, this one may be a good bounce play once Bitcoin finds a bottom so to wrap it up we gotta watch Bitcoin very closely it uh, is now trying to challenge that two thousand dollar price again it got it put in a low of about 18 let's get the exact number here 1826 we're now trying to challenge 2000 I'm not gonna say that this can't be uh, the bottom 
there's definitely going to be a bottom where Bitcoin is not going to trade below that price ever again, really, I don't believe. Uh, certainly, I don't think we're ever going to see a $100 Bitcoin again. I don't think we're ever going to see, most likely we're not going to see $500 Bitcoin again. There is a decent chance we'll see $1,000 Bitcoin again. And uh, I think, uh, like I said, about a 75% chance that we'll see this $1,300 Bitcoin. But there's also a chance that it might bounce right here and just go off to the races. Uh, there's nothing guaranteed. So um, the best strategy is to just scale in small as it's falling and as you feel comfortable. And uh, hopefully you can catch the bounce. And we'll talk to you next time.